I want it to come up. You don't need to show everybody what's going on down there. When did my little girl turn into such a beautiful young woman? Um, I don't know. It happened about four years ago, Dad. And please, don't talk like that in front of Skip, okay? This is my senior prom, and I don't want my date to totally freak out. Okay. I don't even want him to meet you. Okay, well, now, I've spoken to him several times, and he seems very polite. I know, honey, but these days, these boys, they know how to act all polite, and then before you know it, they've got their Facebook all up in your Twitter. Oh, is this a joke? Am I on America's lamest parents? Nope. Your father and I care very much about you. Mom, your hands are sweaty. We do, we care a great deal. We care that you're dating a boy that's worthy of our little angel, okay? Not some boy He who's is only... not some boy. He is my soulmate. I've learned so much from him. Hmm, I had a soulmate once. Did you meet Karen? Yep. The sole thing I wanted to do with her was mate. What? You understand what I'm saying? Okay, I had one thing on my mind, that's all, and I guarantee you the only thing on this boy's mind is the same thing. So, let's honor the curfew, let's make sure you're in bed by 8 o'clock tonight. Dad, the prom starts at 9. Well, then you're not going. Okay, well that does sound a little overprotective, sweetheart. Sound overprotective, being overprotective. Let's go with 10. 10? No way! Solid hour. Honey, relax. Here, have a piece of orbit. I don't care if I seem overprotective. I am your father, for heaven's sakes. I'm your father, I for know. heaven's sakes. I you know it. what I mean? And... There's Skip. Here we go. God. No hairspray, please. Nothing good happens after 10, Katie. Sally, tell her. OK, well, there was a man in a very Not attractive now. van. What are you talking about? Mom, that's weird. <laughs> Mom, Dad, this is Skip. Hi. That's Mr. McGovern from Social Studies. Yeah. Skip McGovern. We are in the same Social Studies class. You teach that class. I met you at parent-teacher night. You told me you were giving my daughter excellent marks. Well, nothing that a good set of leggings can't cover. Katie did say that the two of you were in school together. I just assumed it was a student. Well, that's a two-way street. Sometimes she does let me play student, too. Isn't that right, Katie Cat? Yeah. <laughs> Lines do get blurred, though. Sometimes it's kind of hard to know who is teaching. Is it who or whom? I don't know. Who no gives a crap, right? What's important is... I'm gonna stop you right there, Mr. McGovern. Please do call me Skip. No. You seem very mature for my daughter. Oh, thank you. I'm barely 40. This is a fake mustache, actually. Is it? It is. Truth be told, I'm kind of in the middle of a dicey breakup right now with a gal who... is suddenly shocked to find out that I don't want to move to Michigan with her and watch her go to college. It's like, I'm not in this for the long haul. You're so Never awesome. have been. I'm a free f***ing spirit, man. Here's the way the rest of this night's gonna go. Jerry, take it easy, Jerry. Thank you. You're gonna get inside your car. You're gonna drive away from here. Boy, I'd love to get my paws on some of that gum. Freshen up the old kiss hole. Sorry, it was a last piece. That's a last hey, piece. did you bring the corsage? No, I did not. <laughs> because I'm making you one. I gotta tell you, honey. I've never felt so much uncontrollable. Pride? Yeah. 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 In a school filled with immaturity and piercings and tattoos, she's chosen a man, not a boy, okay? He's got an education, he's got a salary, he's got his own car. A top of the line mustache. She's making such good decisions for a girl who's just recently 18. Could you feel any safer? I know that I will sleep like a baby tonight. That makes two of us. Hmm. It's gonna be twins in the crib. Oh, what time do I need to bring recently legal back? Well, she may be our daughter, but she's your student, so... Whenever I'm done teaching her, huh? <laughs> By the way, for brekkies, I like a fresh muffin, and somebody's addicted to sausage. <laughs> hey. Oh, Skip! Look what Jerry found. Oh. Now that is what I call getting lucky. I'm joking. What I call getting lucky would actually be... It's going to that prom and finding you a nice boy your own age to dance with. Ew. Don't you worry. I'll call when we get there. Just to let you know we got there safe. Oh. Skip, you're the best. You're the best. You're the best. You're best. You're a couple of besties. <laughs> 
He called us the besties. He did. <laughs> Maybe one day, if we're lucky, he's going to call us mom and dad. Oh.